Good evening, guys. Watch Better is here again. Uh, we have uh, a fantastic game from uh, the same tournament, I think, Masters, uh, between uh, Magnus Carlsen and Daniel Dubov. Uh, again, we got uh, a game before on the channel for them, for those, uh, those guys. Now we're gonna get another one here. Again, Mr. Carlsen gonna show us his uh, skills in uh, the end game. He's, he's the best of the best. Again, I. I'm not gonna change my mind about him. Okay, let's go right away to the game. Uh, it's uh, from the Spanish opening, so man start with e4, e5, not f3, not c6, bishop b5, a6, bishop a4, knight f6, and now d3. Clearly, Magnus doesn't want to deal with theory too much, so d3 just he skipped a lot, a lot of theory. Uh, if you go here, like if you castle, for example, which is the main line, he has to face bishop e7. Or bishop c5, or even knight e4, or d6. Many, many moves. So he basically decided to skip all of that and he went directly to d3. No more th neck. There's theory, but much less than been mentioned before. b5, bishop b3, and now bishop c5, c3. Of course, white is really interesting to control the center, so he got his share over here and over there. Now d4 will come. In the right moment, so Dubov played d5 right away, opening the game. He takes d5, not takes d5, castle, castle, and now rook e1 by Magnus. Uh, now the pawn is under attack with the rook and with the knight. So the first thing we can think about is maybe oh he he should maybe protect that, but Dubov is a really creative guy, so and he played bishop e6. Now, of course, if you're gonna go this way, like this way or this way or that way, yeah, there's a queen of six and the rook, and there's a check here. Like, there's a lot of work has to be done. Uh, no one, nobody wants that. Too much, too much uh, activity for a born. Uh, so, Mr. Carlson did knight d2, knight bd2, knight f4. Now the knight is attacking both pawns here. So Carlson played d4, e takes d4, and now knight e4. Now the knight is attacking the bishop over here. Bishop d6, the best square for the bishop to go to, because the knight is attacking the bishop, and also the bishop attacking the knight over here. So there's a double attack here. So bishop d6 just solved the problem. Now if white took here, like he, Dubov gonna take like this, and he's still protecting the knight on f4. But uh, Dubov uh, played, uh, sorry, Mr. Carlson played c takes d4, bishop b3, queen b3. Very simple play, I mean Carlson clearly doesn't look for com like combinations here, he just want to keep the game going. I try to win like, in somehow. Uh, rook e8. Bishop takes a four. Bishop takes a four, and then look a d one. Now Carlson basically, after seventeen moves, he basically activating everything. So the rook and the other rook are watching the both lines, and the knight is in the middle, so he can jump here or maybe there. It depends on the game how it gonna goes. And black is basically left with up. This guy is weak. You know what I mean? This is like really a weak a weak spot. So if the knight jump over here. He gonna st attack the the pawn on a6. So black had some problem to solve. Uh, anyway, uh, Dubov played queen d7, knight c5, queen f5. Again, he's looking for activity. But look at that, knight a6. Magnus knows what he no, knows what he's doing. So if you took if you take the knight, you're gonna get this and you uh, get under checkmate. And if you go this way. Okay, six again, same story. Okay, checkmate. So the knight is a bit too much untouchable. You cannot take him. So what's happened here? Dubov played bishop d6. Now, Dub now uh, Dubov can now take the knight if you allow him. Uh, so uh, knight c5 from Carlson. Rook e1, rook e1, and now knight d4. Dubov getting his bond back. Now Carlson took on because he got an attack on his queen and his knight, so 
castle took on d4, like by force, and then queen c5. But now Magnus can get this point. Now knight b5. Now this pawn is is passed. It's a passed pawn now. It's gonna be dangerous. Bishop e5. Knight c3. Take take and now g6. So what's going on here? We got an extra ball for white, and it's a pass up. So a4, rook d8, queen c2, king g7, g3, rook d6, rook e3, queen d5. Still, it's very difficult to win this, but Magnus is Magnus. In end game, you can trust him. Queen e4, take take. Now, why do both exchange queens? Simply because rook end games is easier to defend. So it, like there's a lot of chances for a knock in the game, even with uh, a bone down to, to get the door. So uh, Dubov knows this very well. Rook c6, and now Magnus played f5. Now what's gonna happen if he did this, for example? c4. Basically we got this rook a6, now this one is under attack. You have to play c5, and now rook a5. And now this bo both of those guys are under attack, and if you go rook c4 to protect both of them, he gonna jump to king f6, king here, king here, and uh, black will be actually in a better situation. Again, very creative play by uh, Dubov. So a5 by Magnus, rook c3, rook a4. Magnus is counting on his bass pawn to win. Uh, Dubov played rook b3, a6, rook b8. Now, see now the difference is we got this guy is very close to be queen so he's starting the rock king f1 king f6 king e2 king e6 king d3 king d5 now black is doing a good job in defending this the king is very close to come here and here so what's happened is rook d4 check king c6 rook c4 check king d6 rook f4 magnus is doing a, a great job here getting some time on the clock and he knows that Dubov got 37 seconds on the clock only. And this is very, 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 very low time. And he got 2 minutes 39 seconds. So he got almost uh, six, uh, 5 times more, uh, like more than his opponent. So he tried to manipulate the, the game by the time. A5, check, check, king d4. Magnus is improving his game slowly, slowly. Okay, to rook a4, king c6, rook a2, king b6, king d5, check, king e6, rook a8 again. Now what's happening here, Magnus now is having a very nice idea. Look at this position. Any player here, most likely he will go king d7. Most likely, any player. He was gonna go here and he said, if you take me, I will take you and I will take you, I will take you like this and white is winning pretty much and if, but he will most likely run in a, into a trap by c5 and then we have issues to solve but Magnus is having a very nice idea here he did rook b2 check forcing black to take the pawn on a6 now he played king d5 so he's sacrificing a pawn rook e8 now king c6, now the threat is rook a2 checkmate. What's Zobov gonna do now? Rook e6, check. Now he's taking his bomb back. Now look at the difference. The difference is the rook is tightening the king. He cannot go anywhere. And the white king is very active. So Dubov have up to do something. So f4, king d7, rook e1, g4. Magnus doesn't want to exchange bonds unless it's absolutely necessary. Rook h1, look at that. Dubov is playing only with the rook. His king doesn't do anything. Now look at Magnus. King c6, he knows this 27, 27 seconds only on his uh, opponent time. So he's trying to play with that. King f5, king c5. Again, he's sitting mate. Something like beginner stuff, but he got an idea. King a4, check and look at this now. Now, what's gonna happen if Dubov went back? He didn't allow this check to take the pawn, like if, if you go this way. It's gonna be the same thing? A bit much, yes. A bit much, this, yeah. I think uh, F3 should do the trick here, and then this guy is protected. It, it should be, it should be, it should do the, it should do the job. 
and also uh, he can actually bring the king over here and here and there, and the king is still is still stuck. But Magna just tried out, and you know, look at that. He just took a bone right? because his opponent is short in time. Rook h2. Now Dubov now got two more bones to deal with. Now look at this. Rook f7. King b3. This this is the Dubov idea. Now his king is free, but it's quite late. F4, king c3, f5, g takes f5, g takes f5. It's very difficult to defend this kind of endgame when you are short on time. It's very, very difficult. Rook a2, king d5, check, king e4, check. Look, he tried to win some time on the clock. Look at his time. 25 seconds. That's it. That's what he got. King e5, h5, rook h7, h4, f6, check, check. Check King G6 Rook A4 F7. I mean, he's like the queen, the pawn. Look at this booking. He's too way too far. Check King F5, and now same Rook H4. Now if you go here, and now here Dubov just simply resigned. And if you go here, check that. Then you have Rook F4. They gonna become a queen. There's absolutely nothing to do. Again, uh, Mr. Magnus, uh, the end game magician, in my opinion, he's doing a great job in the end game against a very, very strong and creative opponent. I hope you guys like the like the video. Uh, share and like and subscribe to the channel if you like it. And we're gonna see you guys tomorrow. See you. Bye bye.